Mr. Bobbin, said a lady's voice. Uh, yes, said Mr. Bobbin. Are you the Bobbin who advertised for a daily help, said the lady. Uh, well, uh, said Mr. Bobbin. Here I am, said the lady. My name's Mrs. McBeatham. Stand aside. Dear, 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 what a mess, said Mrs. McBeatham. Fancy letting it get in this state. I'll start straight away. Well, said Mr. Bobbin, I don't know if you quite want to. Please don't interrupt me when I'm about my work, said Mrs. McBeast. Oh, said Mr. Bobbin. Well, then I suppose we'll have to give it a trial. All things bright and beautiful. La 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 la. You're in the way there, Mr. Bobbin, said Mrs. McBeeson. Kindly remove yourself. All things wise and wonderful. The Lord has made them all. Well, said Mrs. McBeeson. A cat on the bed. Disgusting. Oh, 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 oh. Dear, dear, said Mrs. McBeeson. Everything's going wrong, said Mrs. McBeeson. said Mr. Bobbin timidly. Have you uh, finished? Well, it doesn't look any better to me, said Mr. Bobbin. I must say, I, I, I'm not very impressed. Oh, Mr. Bobbin, everything went wrong, said Mrs. McBeeson sadly. And I was trying so hard to make it all nice and tidy. I expect you upset sponge, said Mr. Bobbin. Never mind, my dear. Why don't you go and make a pot of tea, and I'll get him to put everything right. I think you've been a bit naughty, Sponge, said Mr. Bobbin. But you've certainly quietened her down. <laughs> now, if you wouldn't mind... Oh, that's lovely, said Mrs. McBeeson. Here's the tea. And look, I've made sponge a gingerbread cat. 